out of the evening and it is going to be back to the uh, kickboxing uh, it, this one should be fun uh, it's going to be uh, a lightweight bout here for this kickboxing uh, contest 155 pounds Caleb Collins taking on Jake Morris and uh, you know a, a Caleb Collins another representative of that icebox uh, gym that we saw his teammate Lane Marsh victorious from earlier in the evening. We'll see if he can keep the momentum rolling for that Icebox MMA camp. And Jake Morris uh, meets him uh, out of uh, Body Shot Combat in Lowell, North Carolina. First time I've seen either of these gentlemen in action. I'm excited for it. And uh, it's like we're getting ready to meet these guys. Here we go. All right, here we go. First bell starts, touch of the glove, here we go. Caleb Collins opens up with a nice leg kick and a front body kick as well, push kick. Collins is looking to use that range, nice uppercut. Yeah, he's oh, oh. starting to string some things together too with some uh, follow-up punches off those leg kicks, it's nice. Big overhand right answer though from Jake Morris. Yeah, nice counters. Lead leg kick of his own, answered back and uh, side kick there from Caleb Collins. Flashy so far. Mm. Looks like uh, he is looking to use that range, you know, keeping that hand out there to kind of engage distance. Oh, nice combination, a little four piece there. Oh, 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 oh. We, so we've got exchanges early, good defenses being used on both sides. Yeah, none of this really affecting Jake Morris too much just no. yet, but he's certainly scoring out here. Right? Jake's going to have to figure out a, way, a way to get inside of that reach. That's the key. That's the key. If Jake can get in without taking too much damage. You know, and it's not even a damage. It, it could just be a just consistent peppering, mm -hmm. you know, of a jab. Or a oh, that's a nice, oh. Oh, nice combination. Again, in the body kicks, nice. really thudding yeah. there for Caleb Collins. And coming out, I mean, look okay. at Getting that experience. Caleb Collins and Southpaw here, too, I should mention. Nice overhand ride from Jake Morris. Size on on Caleb Collins uh, to be to be young young buck like like he is he's, he's very composed out here early. Is that uh, check that he checked that kick? He yeah. Felt that. Oh yeah. The power of checking kicks, kids. Check kicks. Ooh, nice uh, nice two piece landed by Jake Morris yes. there actually. Yes, it was. And, and I've noticed like if Jake will miss this kick, he'll follow up with another little like side kick from a weird angle. So that's something that Collins needs to watch for. But so far he's, he's, he's avoided every time. Action. Close yeah. round in that first round. Who yeah. would you give that first one to? Ooh, ooh. Well, I mean, you look at the cleaner. You look at the cleaner punches. Then you look at the power punches. I hate to be a judge in this. I mean, I really, I mean, because because they're really having a hard time because these these rounds are going back and forth, as you can see in the replay. Superman off, punch. A Superman punch off the cage, mind you. Little, little, little Anthony Pettis. As you can, and as you can see, straighter punches, the kick. Now, those body kicks. The body kicks has been a real nice weapon for, for Caleb Collins. Uh, props to Jake Morris. He's he's avoiding a lot. He's he's at the very least covering up and blocking a lot of this. But to me, the volume that Caleb Collins has, has shown in this first round would edge out the round for him. I'm not calling them very well tonight, but that but that's that's how well, I would see it. You get the activity versus the power shot. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and what do you grade as a judge? Mm -hmm. You know, or, or is, is, is it points? You know, when you with the peppering. Or is it literally the power of the thud? Right. Round two of three, here we go. Touch of the gloves to start as we're back in action here at Augusta Fight Night at the Bell Auditorium. And it's Morris pressing forward this time, but uh, Collins answering nicely. Sticking that jab out is Collins. Really, again, for, for his age, doing a pretty nice job of, of, of staying composed and, and using good footwork, staying on the, on the outside. Yeah, using that range is key. It's key, and, he, and he's getting the feel for it. A lot of good head movement out there as well. And Jake Morris, uh, a little more assertive this round, I'll say, though, uh, than the first round. Well, Jake knows he can get in there. Mm -hmm. He's confident that when he does get in, he can land He can land the leather. So. Yeah, the big right hand is, is what Morris is looking to land, and I, I think there's some power behind that if he can land it clean. 
body I kick again, though. Oh. Yeah, body kick of, your, of his own from hey, Morris. Oh, 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 oh. That right I would hand have to we say spoke more. about caught uh, Collins yes. that time. Twice. He caged another one right and there. And he caught him again. He's starting to find a home for that right hand. Less than a minute to go here in the ooh, clock there for the most part, but it sounded yeah. pretty. Oh, yeah. I mean, again, they're throwing it second round. About a minute, about, not about 40 seconds, 44 seconds to go. Much better round for Morris here. Oh. In my opinion. He's letting his hands go. Yeah, he's starting to land that right hand a little more. Well, his body kicks. And again, his that, own body kicks, that yes. Power, that power that he's throwing, I think, is starting to kind of slow things Another down. Another check kick there. That's yeah. the second time we've seen that. Both times it kind of affected Collins. No, no, I think that one really, the wince. Yeah, he's got Collins backed up against the cage now. The kid's going to have to start digging deep. Yeah, because he's got potentially fighting on one leg. And Morris is starting to smell a little, a little blood in the water maybe, you know. Yeah. Starting to come on with his kicks as uh, we're down to the final seconds. Nice body kick again for Morris. And a big right yeah. hand over the top. Yeah, right above us. I mean, Morris is letting it go. Now that one <laughs> oh, yeah. was the yeah. tides are beginning to shift, I feel like, yeah. a little bit. Yes, I would go. I would definitely, that round, hands down. Morris. Morris, I would agree. Day. And All I day. feel like the momentum's starting to go that way. So yes. we'll see if Caleb Collins is able to answer. Let's get us to this replay, Travis. All right, so as you can see, you know, Morris is coming forward. The kicks. Collins is coming. They're both kicking back and forth. The body work from these young men is exceptional. Now you can see that big overhand right. Morris, he's finding it. When he can get in, he lets it go. He's effective. It's just, can he continue to get in? But those check kicks, I got a feeling, are really going to show themselves in this in this final round. After that one in the second round where, where Collins kind of winced a little bit, it seemed like his movement definitely decreased. He allowed himself to get caught up against the cage more than he has been up to this point. We'll see if Morris is able to take this momentum and roll it into the third round and come out ahead of this one, or if Collins is able to kind of find his footing again and, and uh, you know put a stamp of it of his own. Third and final round, our referee getting ready to get us started here. And this fight has played out more like a, a K1 bout. Yes. We haven't seen you know the, the clinching uh, like we did in the first one. None. None. Body kick from Morris opens up as uh, Caleb trying to find that range. He enters with a kick of his own. The, the, the body work. The body work. And now, when Caleb's throwing those kicks, Morris is answering with a flurry or two or three punches behind it. Yes. Finishing Again, with a kick of his own. Morris is getting in. He's closing the distance. You know, he's realizing that once he's in, that's when he's got to let him go. And that right hand is finding a home. They're starting to chant for Caleb uh, Collins out there, trying to get uh, get this kid fired up here. Another right hand lands though for Jake Morris. Leg kick from Jake Morris, and you can see the, oh, the inner well, thigh the well of uh, oh, Collins. That's right leg is is welted up nice. Oh, that's bad. I mean, and, and, and the outside. And the matter. outside. Oh my God. Oh, Both hey. sides. Those kicks, people. Just because they have guards on yeah. Morris, Morris is a, Morris's activity really really picking up here in the third round yeah he's really taking the fight you know to his opponent not as much snap on the strikes of Collins in this third round as he had earlier in the fight well I, and I think one the body work and two the leg kicks. the leg kicks I mean when you're fight, again there's another one when you're fighting on one leg <laughs> I mean when the leg goes it goes there's nothing you can do about that you there's no power, you know, and it's your lead leg. Mm. 15 seconds to go here. Jake Morris, in my opinion, kind of edging out this third round, and in my opinion, edging out this fight, but they're really throwing down the last, uh, oh, the the last, last few seconds. Minute, I mean, they're both getting at it. They're both landing the punches. Oh, Morris, I, I mean. They're going to make sure they didn't leave anything out there. A nice show of respect for yes. both these guys. I think the judges are going to have their hands full with this one. I, I keep embarrassing myself on the predictions. My, I, I would go 29-28, Morris. What's your take? 29-28, Morris. I mean, I, just especially that last round. I mean, technically, now, here's the funny thing. If he would have just circled and kept circling. Here's the replay real quick. I mean, that's that last. This is that flurry at the very end where the guys got to let it go. This flurry could decide the fight. 
Because if the judges see something different in that, because he could have just danced and won the round flat out. But he decided to engage. We're all happy he did because that really made a great last couple of seconds. But that literally could be the turning factor in that round. If something was seen, I mean, he looked like he got the more favorable blows in the replay. But again, we certainly aren't being paid for our, uh, for our <laughs> judging opinion. Probably for the best. But uh, hey, both these guys really put on a nice performance. I was super impressed with the composure and, uh, re and really just the, the flashiness early of young Caleb Collins. Yeah. Impressed with Jake Morris's ability to kind of weather that initial storm in the first round, uh, uh, making adjustments in the corner there uh, to, to creep ahead, in my opinion, later in the fight. So I thought both these guys super, super impressive, especially, uh, you know, this being the first fight ever for Collins. Oh, Collins came through big time. I mean, it's just the fact that now he knows. Now he knows what it's like, one, not only to make the walk, but to also get in there, get hit, and weather a storm. Because he got cracked a couple times. So he, he knows he can take a lick. Let's find out what the judges thought about this one, and let's go to the man, Jeff Hobbs, and uh, let's get this decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we into the scorecard. All three of your judges saw this about the same way, 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision. Out of the red corner, Jake Morris. Well, by golly, we got one. We got one right. <laughs> Great fight, though. Um, I guess the judges, for the most part, saw it, saw it very similar to what, to what we saw there, yeah. Travis. Oh, definitely. Again, that action, uh, that last little flurry, 